Chris, have the Chicago Bulls done enough to make themselves a threat to the Bucks or Nets? <laughs> heavens no. Oh, oh heavens I, no. Please tell me this is a trick question. Please tell me this is a trick question. J-Mac, you had to come up with this question. After you sang the praises of the Bulls yesterday. I will. I mean, a threat to the Nets or the Bucks? Come on. No. A thousand times no. Look, I like what the Bulls have done this offseason. I like Lonzo Ball next to Zach Levine. I, with, with those two being able to shoot threes, even Nick Vucevic can shoot threes. You can have a DeMar DeRozan at your small forward who's a mid-range assassin who gets to the rim. So that's a nice thing. Then you got, they probably got Patrick Williams at the power forward. That's a nice little lineup. But they, let's see if they make the playoffs. All right, because right now I'm looking at, obviously, Brooklyn, Milwaukee. Then we got Miami. Miami. Then we got Philadelphia. Then we've got Atlanta and Boston. That's six. New York. The Knicks just added Kimball Walker. They got Evan Fournier. They brought back Derrick Rose. They 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 or they, they got uh, Julius Randle, obviously Mitchell Robinson, and a coach who gets the most out of his teams in the regular season in Tom Thibodeau. And then I got Indiana with a great coach in Rick Carlisle, a team that had made the playoffs five straight years, I believe before they fell off last year because of the coaching. It was just a bad situation. They got Malcolm Brogdon, DeMontis Sabonis, Miles Turner, Karis LeVert. Like, the Pacers are better than the Bulls. So, I'm looking at, I think the Bulls will battle with Charlotte and Washington for the play-in. Oh. I expect a little improvement, but my, are we really battling with the Nets and the Bucks? Come on. Come on. They'll do well to make the playoffs. They got a shot. They'll do well to make the playoffs. I tend to agree. I, I agree with where you're coming from. I do think they have improved their team. But to say that they've improved their team to be the favorite out of the East, I think that's a, a bit of a reach. But listen, you add De- DeRozan, I think that that's a, a bit of a coup. You know, I thought that there were some, some more uh, – better landing spots or or more feasible uh, places that DeRozan could have ended up. I, I was thinking if it wasn't the Lakers, once I knew it wasn't the Lakers, it might have been the Clips. So there there were some, some situations that could have played out very differently than him ending up in, in the Windy City. Lonzo Ball being there now. I, I think that they do have a nice youth movement um, that they've created. It, it could be a very, very... Um, fun team to watch, an exciting team to watch. Right. But once you start getting into talking about um, battling with, with, with the juggernauts of, of the, that side of the conference, I just don't see them stacking up uh, with this roster just yet with, with the guys um, at the top. We don't speak a lot about Atlanta, but Atlanta, uh, in my opinion, uh, they're right there at it to be a more consistent uh, appearance, uh, a team that appears uh, closer to making it to to finals finals appearances. Uh, then you look at what took place with the Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks may be more um, valued than what they truly are in my my estimation. I thought that this was just a really good opportunity this season for them to take advantage of how things played out in terms of guys who were healthy versus not healthy. Giannis was able to get healthy quick enough to be a part of the run to get that championship. But I don't know that I look at them as being, you know, a heavy favorite coming into this year. I mean, losing P.J. Tucker, I think that some guys, whether it shows up on the, the, the stat line or not, are vital pieces to what a team's identity and personality is. I thought that P.J. Tucker brought that uh, to this team. It was great that they were able to get uh, uh, Portis back onto the team and sign him. So I thought that was a big, a big sign for them. But I'm not high, super high on the Bucks. I'm not super high on the Sixers. So when I look at what's going on in the East, a lot of it, Atlanta, I think that the Knicks will improve, obviously. But I'm not sure if that is something that I should, should buy into, that they're going to consistently be good. I think that Brooklyn 
has to show that they can be healthy and that they can go through the season and it not be a, a drama, uh, days of our lives playing out in front of us every time we talk about them. Can they transition from that? I do think Brooklyn is the team to beat in the East, but I do think that the East is wide open, but there should be more conversation surrounding the Atlanta Hawks. I like what the Miami Heat did, but like the, Hawks the Hawks have proven, wow. well, the Hawks have proven that they should be in these types of discussions moving forward. Yeah, by the way, the Hawks just added John Collins five for a million, one point, uh, sorry, 125 mil. Not a bad ad addition, but y'all need to put some Keeping respect. It. On the name of Zach Levine. Mm. He is the best dunker in the NBA right he now. He can sing, too. He averaged 27 <laughs> points a game. Yeah, that, that My helps name you man, get Zach wins Levine, being the best dunker. Is such a that bucket helps. getter in the league right now. He is outstanding. <laughs> and by the way, I'll just keep it real with you guys because I always do. The Bulls are in the playoffs this past year if Levine doesn't get COVID and the Bulls, they, they cratered right after that at the end of the season, okay? No, Chicago is not on the level of Brooklyn or Miami. They're not quite on the level of the Bucks, who are a cup below those two, as I explained yesterday. And then there's a log jam, Chris. I I'm sorry. Like, the 76ers are taking a step back because we know Ben Simmons is going to get shipped. We don't know where or for what. We don't think it's going to be Dame. That's why they fall back to the pack. I'm with you, LeVar. I like Atlanta. Uh, I don't know about the Knicks. Some of these numbers were a little fugazi, these defensive three-point shooting numbers. Like, it doesn't seem like it's going to be able to duplicate uh, what they did last year. And I just, just keep an eye on this Bulls team. They added good defense, right? Billy Donovan likes defense. He adds Lonzo, strong defender, does a lot of things. And Alex Caruso, the really talented uh, Lakers shooting guard. Like, those are two good defenders. And now, I think DeMar DeRozan anchors your second unit. I don't even know if you start him. I think you build a second unit around him. I, I really like this team, guys. I think this is a 45-win team. I think they're probably fifth or sixth when it all shakes out. I really like what Donovan's doing. And oh, final note, word, the Bulls have been bad for quite some time. The league is better when the tentpole franchises, the Chicago, the big market Knicks, and L.A. is strong. And I think that's where we're headed next year. I think New York will have two playoff teams. I think Chicago will have one, and L.A. will have one, the Lakers. I don't think the Clippers get to the playoffs. First of all, the league is fine. It's, it's nice to have oh, really? the Knicks be good. League's Congratulations. Fine? That's great. It's okay. nice to have the Bulls be good. But the, the Knicks haven't been good for how long? I, it, consistently good. They haven't been consistently good this century. And the league has been fine. <laughs> all right, so, so stop it with all that stuff. I mean, that's, that's just keeping it real. And then, J-Mac, you don't pay a dude three years, $85 million to have him shore up your second unit. Well, they, they got to let DeMar play. And De DeMar made this move for the money. All right, th that's all there is to yeah. it. I, I, look, and I'm not mad at him. Go get your money, DeMar. You're going to be a young Stay man when you retire and these multi-millions of dollars stop coming in. So I'm not mad at him, but that's why he went to the Bulls because there were few teams out there with that type of money that were throwing it at him. So he went to a rebuilding situation in Chicago. Yeah, I would have loved to see him with the Clippers. You know, Lakers would have been fine, but the Clippers, I thought that was a place where – his role would be to go out and get us 20-something points on a team that would going to be a playoff team with him. So I, I think that would have been a good fit. But look, I, I like what the Bulls have done. I think they're taking a step in the right direction. You know, but to think that they're now up there a notch below the leaders, as you said, Jay Mack, no, I, I can't put him up that far. Yeah, well, you're just not putting respect on Zach Levine's name. I don't see people. He came into the league. He hadn't done a he's ton. He's fine, but he's he's one not player. fine. He's elevated himself to all NBA caliber. That's what we're talking about with him. And I, I always pronounce his name wrong, so I have to write it down. Vucicic, uh, the center. He's a nice player. Thank Vucevic. you, Lamar, for laughing at me. Yeah. He, he's a really nice player. I'm just telling you guys, they've got the pieces. It's going to probably take a month or so to work together. You know, everybody's wearing name tags in the huddle because they don't know who's who. But this team has talent. And I'll just, if you put the Knicks roster next to the Bulls, Bulls have more talents, Chris. I'm sorry. That's just a matter of fact right now. I like Kemba Walker. Knicks have a better coach. They do. Uh, Thibodeau's Knicks slight have a much edge over coach. Donovan. Yeah, yeah. LeVar, final word. I just, I just like Zach when he sings with Maroon 5. I really am a big fan of his songs and <laughs> all of the things that he's done and the music industry. We appreciate you, Zach. Thank, yes. thank you. All thank right. You. <laughs> Does anyone stand a chance? <laughs>
Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.